Welcome to this episode of Xerox Wide Format Short Talks. Today's topic is the copy catch tray on the Xerox 6204 and how to make the best use of it. Properly set, it will catch up to 20 same size documents neatly. Often, however, users neglect to set it and prints spill out onto the floor. This short talk will show you what the correct settings are for the catch tray based on print size. The white frame catch tray on the front of the 6204 has extenders for long documents and it also has catchers for short documents. How well the catch tray works depends entirely on how you set the extenders and catchers. Set them to match your print sizes and you'll catch up to 20 documents in a tidy stack. Don't set them and you'll have copies on the floor. Let's see how to set them correctly. With the catchers flipped up and the extenders in, that is, hooked to the top rung of the wireframe, you're good to go for the following. B and A3 in portrait mode, C, D, A2, A1, E, A0, and 30 inch by 42 inch sizes. But note that the trailing edges of E, A0, and 30 by 42 documents may touch the floor. Set the catchers down and the extenders in for A and A4, or B and A3 sizes in landscape mode. Set the catchers up and the extenders out for E, A0, or 30 inch 42 inch sizes. Note that the trailing edges won't touch the floor, but you may not be able to stack up to 20 documents. Let's take a different look at those same three positions. Catchers up, extenders in, good for B and A3 in portrait mode, C, D, A2, A1, E, A0, and 30 inch by 42 inch sizes. Catchers down, extenders in, good for A and A4, or B and A3 sizes in landscape mode. Catchers up, extenders out, good for E, A0, or 30 inch by 42 inch sizes. That's it for this edition of Wide Format Short Talks. Thanks for listening. Oh.